<laughs> I doubt it. So I want to talk about history for a minute from Japan's Yozura Hanyu, the first skater to break the 100-point mark in a performance. Your thoughts on that routine? On uh, Look, if you're talking about the fact that he broke 100 points, uh, that also means zero to me because I'm not very much in favor of the counting of points uh, in this in the judging system. I, I, but I will tell you that he was simply breathtaking, and he was wonderful with his jumps, and he was wonderful with his uh, spins, and the program was intriguing. And even this donut spin, it's called a donut because of the circle on the top, and he didn't drop. Uh, thing, uh, his his back and his uh, free leg to pick that up. It was a very, very beautiful performance, and uh, he deserved every one of those points that he could possibly get. Uh, uh, brilliant skating, brilliant skating. And you know something? Um, Plushenko knew that, and uh, I think that if he wasn't going to win, uh, uh, that maybe that was best that he, uh, in his mind, and in the Russian Skating Federation's mind, that he withdraw. And that's why they did that. And, and if you take a look at that one picture that we do have right there, the reaction when the score was announced there from Han Yu and his coach, take a look at this. <laughs> that is... It's so, it's so un-Japanese. Uh, they are essentially such an incredibly polite uh, 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 country. You know, they're, they're so... When he had uh, the... I think it was the... Uh, uh, one of them had the... Uh, teddy bear that he'd picked up off the ice and he was bowing to the audience for thanking them and he was making the teddy bear bow too i loved it <laughs> i love it. i love it. The, the the emotion the, the the raw personality that comes out after pulling off a performance like that a 